I thought it would be interesting to tell one or two of these stories because it, 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 you know, it, it, shows, it shows quite a lot, I think, about the president of America at the moment. Tell about the meal you once had with President Trump. Well, um, it was the first time I'd met President Trump, um, and he wasn't president then. Um, it was back in the 90s, and um, it rang me up to invite me to his flat to have a, have a meal. And I turned up, and there were just the two of us, and it was a fairly extraordinary lunch. Um, he spent most of the lunch talking about his bankruptcy, his latest bankruptcy, and um, during the time he was sort of trying to save the company, he'd rung up a number of people and asked them for financial help and how five people had said they wouldn't give him financial help. He then went on to say that it, his life's mission was going to be to destroy these five people. I'd been brought up to look for the best in people, to, um, yeah, to forgive people who, who you, know, you, you feel have let you down. And, um, and in any event, I don't believe that these people had really let him down. They just said no when he'd asked for financial help when, he, when, when his companies were in trouble. So I said to him, you know, I think it's going to eat you up. It um, won't do them any, any good. And um, it seems counterproductive, um, but, but he, he was going to have none of it. And so I left feeling quite, you know, it was quite a strange lunch because um, I was also quite baffled by why it was the main subject of discussion rather than you know talking about something maybe a bit more worthwhile when you had a rival television show on an american network uh, competing against his sh then show the apprentice what did he write in the letter he sent you um well our show wasn't really a rival but although he seemed to think of think of it in a letter that he wrote me um Ours was more an adventure-based show, so I would take people to different countries and put them through, uh, to, yeah, really extreme, extreme adventures. And um, uh, but he wrote me a letter, basically saying, first of all, the show shouldn't be called The Rebel Billionaire because um, I'm in the airline business and I couldn't possibly be worth a billion because um, uh, because it, people in the airline business you know, never make any money and therefore I should be effectively changing the name of the show to something called something like The Rebel Millionaire or something. I mean, anyway, it was just rather, rather uh, a churlish letter. And um, so in my new book, um, uh, Finding My Virginity, I thought it would be interesting for people to see the correspondence and um, to tell one or two of these stories because it, 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 you know, it, it shows you know, it, it, it shows quite a lot, I think, about the president of America at the moment. What, what did he subsequently say when you next heard from him in 2015? Um, so in 2015, he wrote to me, um, yeah, congratulating us on Virgin Galactic. And um, yeah, a very, very pleasant note. And, um, and your impression of that was what? You know, I'm a, I'm a great believer in making up and being friends with people you may have fallen out with in your life. And I think if it wasn't for the fact that he was running for presidency of America, um, I would have, um, yeah, I would have been delighted to have responded and, you know, but, you know, I was slightly suspicious that, um, that he most likely was sending notes like that to lots of people because he was running for running to be president of America. Uh, but anyway, you know, look, he's done extraordinarily well. So, uh, um, so, uh, but it's just, I think it's interesting for people to, uh, hear stories and people can judge for themselves, about, you know, based on stories like this.